see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! Is the time of madness and disdain. Welcome everyone to Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Funny thing was, the novel thing I was talking about in the last let's play, it was actually going to be the Metro series. But when I was playing the third chapter, Dead City, game kept crashing, so I said scrap that LP and go on to the other game that has more famous novels. So we are going to play Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and all of its content. And this is going to be a very long let's play, very long indeed, since we're going to do as much as we can. Um, I am going to make this a little bit difficult. I'm going to play on Death March, right out the gate. I feel like I've played this game enough times to get the mechanics down to the very core. And for build-wise, I'm going to go with what I call the Heavy Alchemist. Which is going to be a heavy tox tank and bear armor. So that way we can at least take the hits as they come, especially on death marches, even when we get into hearts and stone and blood and wine. Uh, without further ado, uh, oh, forget him. I do have mods installed, just some HD remastered skins for overall aesthetic of the world and monsters. And one mod that's pretty helpful, uh, multiple quest objectives. I will link them all in the description below in this first episode, so if you want to follow me with the mods that I actually have, go right ahead. But without further ado, let's get started. Fresh start. 
death march. Yes, just for anyone who's never played this game, and we will simulate a Witcher 2 save. You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings.
Well, we are here. I am a, I am playing on a controller because I am more comfortable. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. So, as for mods, I will say before we head on words, I have an HD texture mod for just basic resources and assets just make the entire game look more appeasing. Uh, there is a texture rework for monsters, just kind of give them more of a gradient look rather than just looks like a blob of one color. Uh, this is more noticeable, like say on the um, the ghouls and whatnot, makes them more, a little bit more grittier. I have a water resource mod that makes the water much more clear and much more like HD, that is Aqua V2. Uh, there is a world map bug fix where certain things in the real 3D landscape do not match with the 2D mini map. That's just a little bug thing. And then finally is one game changing one, which is I think everyone could agree with is how this game only allows one objective at a time on the map. This allows the player to have multiple objectives at once on the mini map even if they're not the active one but that's basically it pretty minimalist mod set i like i said links will be in the description so hope you enjoy after all this is on heart on death march old witcher's fast asleep Series disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. <laughs> we spoiled her, all right. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Ay, ay, ay. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. She devil. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? 
Oh, Siri. All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. I don't know, like, playing this game now, after, because by the time um, this gets out, it's like... What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. As I was saying, by the time this is uploaded, it's mid-January, and this se season two of The Witcher on Netflix has gone live. Oh god, oh, I might have just given her a head start. Nope. Uh, definitely kind of like the older Siri from the Netflix series, rather than Siri in the game being just a kid. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. At least you read it. Mm. So you did. Read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if. But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Oh, no. Don't weasel out of this. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Smart ass. Might have, but don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir. Got it? That's playing with fire. Very. Fine. We've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. Uh, seeing things in two in the continuity era of this think? game. Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Phantom fundamentals, as always. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. And Ciri's barely a novice. <laughs> Draw your sword, Geralt! Quick cut! One, two, three! Strong strikes now. Give it all you got! Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Yeah. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. So we're just gonna wait till all this is done. Think I'm training Siri to work. Siri. She's likely to be more of a challenge. Sword. It's angled. And now, live late. Riposte! Strike! 
Counter strike. Maybe a storm's coming. Come on, Vez. Bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witcher's signs. Let's start with Quen. Ah, Quen. Ah. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the witcher's shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erdan now. Show her, Geralt. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. What? Lost your nerve? Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What now? All right. Fine. All right. Enough. Continue training at will. All right. So while we're just kind of busy, just kind of dancing around, uh, if you've seen the new season of Witcher 2, the one little continu next? continuity error that is really griping me is that Eskel in the game is alive, and by the time this is now, it's already been out for about a month, and most people have seen it. Eskel died in the second season, so I really don't like the continuity error. I mean, I get the the games are more of not based off the books, more of just an adaptation of the books. But still, it's a little continuity error. Because the books are somewhat based... The, the games are somewhat based off the books. So, it just kind of sucks. That little continuity error. It does kind of just grind me in that wrong way. No, come on. Come on. Ugh. Whoa. You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll send her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you.
right. <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, uh, The Connellyers. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wild lands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Oh, that's Yen. Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. All right, let's go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's something we keep to ourselves. That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. It is. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh, but it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Ghouls, baby. Hello, ghouls. You gotta be extremely careful. Whoa, nice try, buddy. Another one. Whoa, where did you come from? There we go. All right. Of course, an army's past necrophages follow. Let's go before any more yeah. show. Yeah, health regen's not. Yeah. 
Bird skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? All right. All right. Let's loot some corpses. Just a snack. All right. We have started our introduction and are now on the path. Next episode, we head towards the main road and try and find any trace of Yen. See you guys then.